Buongiorno, benvenuto a tutti. Today we're going to be looking at how to pronounce correctly the names of all the most delicious Italian food names that you've probably been mispronouncing, or at least I'm pretty sure will improve the pronunciation of those dishes for many of you. Let's start with the classic. Now, it's not spaghetti, right? Spaghetti. Spaghetti is how they would say it in Italy. Al dente. A good spaghetti is good, you know, a little firm under your teeth. Al dente. Al dente. That's how you cook a good pasta. La pizza. Another classic. We're going to be looking at how to say some of the most classic dishes towards the end of the video. So make sure to stay tuned. We're going to be looking at about 40 in total. Ravioli. Ravioli. Or in English, if you want to learn the English pronunciation, ravioli. Ravioli, but in Italian, ravioli. One that too many people get confused by. Bruschetta. You know those little toasted bread with some toppings? Bruschetta, not bruschetta. Bruschetta is how you say it correctly. Delicious dessert. Tiramisu. Fun fact, it literally means pull me up is what it means because it's got some coffee, sometimes a bit of alcohol, so it gives you a bit of a boost as a dessert. Tiramisu is how you say in English tiramisu, the delicious cheese, grating cheese known in English often as parmesan. Parmigiano, parmigiano or in English parmigiano, parmigiano, the delicious other typical classic cheese mozzarella not mozzarella mozzarella anytime you have a double uh, consonant like the double z here you want to insist on this part in italian so here you want to insist on the double z and the double l mozzarella mozzarella is how the italians would say it and that's how you can say it yourself too panettone classic around christmas time holiday Panettone, panettone. Again, you got the double T, so insist on that part. Prosciutto, that's the cured ham, typical of Italy. Prosciutto. Yeah, the spelling is a bit confusing. Prosciutto is how you say it correctly. Suscrive or sottoscrivi. Subscribe, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy those videos and stay tuned if you like learning more about pronunciation from French, Italian, Spanish and beyond, you found the right channel. Coffee is a good specialty of Italian cuisine. Macchiato, that's a type of coffee with a bit of milk. Macchiato. Coffee lovers will know what I'm talking about here. Focaccia, that's a type of a pizza without any topping on it. Focaccia is how you say it. Focaccia. Mascarpone, type of creamy, very creamy cheese that you put in the tiramisu. Mascarpone, the delicious mascarpone. Wine is also very important in the Italian culture. Pino Grigio, delicious, simple, sweet, delicately sweet white wine from the north of Italy. Pino Grigio. Risotto, risotto. You know, those dishes with round rice, risotto. A recipe of pizza, classic, capricciosa, capricciosa, actually, capricciosa. The pizza, capricciosa, is how you pronounce it. A type of dessert, panna, panna, meaning cream, cotta, meaning cooked, panna cotta. Again, double syllables here. So you want to insist on the double N and the double T. Panna cotta. Ice cream. In Italian, that's literally what it means. Gelato. Gelato is how you say it. Gelato in American English, I guess. Prosecco. Prosecco. Double C mean you insist on this part. Prosecco. Delicious sparkling wine, of course. Panini. Panini type of sandwiches, panini, delicious, 
Oh, if you like learning more Italian pronunciation and brand names like this one, can you pronounce this fashion brand name correctly? I'll put a link in the video description and on top of this video as well. But know that here on this channel we do brand names as well. Latte. Latte literally means milk in Italian, but it's of course also the name of a type of coffee with a bit of milk. Latte is how you pronounce it. Carbonara, a recipe of pasta. Carbonara, creamy, with a bit of bacon-like type of hmm, delicious, I'm salivating. Carbonara. Zucchini. Zucchini, you know that one? It's a word that's been borrowed from Italian and that's used in English as well. Zucchini. Calzone. Calzone, another type of pizza that is folded. Calzone. La pizza. Calzone. Delicious. Another type of cheese, mild cheese, creamy cheese, ricotta, that a lot of people that are cooking would know really well, with mascarpone, ricotta is how you say it, pronounce it correctly. Another wine, Chianti, classic from Tuscany, red wine, El Chianti, Il Chianti, Carpaccio, you probably know that dish when you slice meat and you leave it raw with a bit of olive oil on top, a bit of balsamico vinegar, carpaccio. If you want to know how to pronounce correctly more food names, I'll put links in the video description for you. I do French and Spanish as well. A type of shape of pasta, farfalle. Farfalle, they look like butterflies. Farfalle is literally the word in Italian for butterfly. Farfalle. Cannelloni. Cannelloni. Again, you got this double L, so insist on this part. A type of a shape of pasta too. Cannelloni. In restaurants, you'll often find San Pellegrino water, sparkling water. San Pellegrino. San Pellegrino. Delicious. Margherita. Another recipe type of pizza. Classic from Italy. It's got the, all the colors of the Italian flag, if you've never noticed, margherita with the tomatoes and the basilic, the basil, minestrone, a type of soup, minestrone, delicious, I'm salivating more and more, dolce, this means dessert, it means sweet, in, in literally in Italian, sweet, dolce, not dolce, dolce, when you have one single C, before an E in Italian, it becomes CH sound. Dolce, that means sweet and also means a dessert in Italian. Caprese, delicious type recipe of salad. Caprese, not caprese, 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 caprese salad, delicious. Ciabatta, ciabatta, a type of white bread. Ciabatta. Ah, this one is so much mispronounced. Bolognese, you'd say, and that's closer actually to the French pronunciation of the word. In French we say Bolognese, and I think the English have borrowed the French pronunciation of it. That's a bit silly, but in English it's pronounced Bolognese, 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 la pasta Bolognese, alla Bolognese, they would say actually in Italian, pasta alla Bolognese, o spaghetti alla Bolognese. La deliciosa lasagna. Lasagna. GN is a n sound in Italian. Lasagna. A recipe that's actually very popular. Many of you may not know it. Aglio e pepe. It, you can make spaghetti with very simple recipe. Some garlic and a pepper. Black pepper. That's actually what it means. Aglio. Aglio means garlic. Pepe is pepper. Aglio e pepe. Try, look up this recipe. Aglio e pepe spaghetti. Delicious. A type, a shape of pasta. Penne. Penne. Yes, you have a double N there. Make sure you insist on that double N. Otherwise, if you don't pronounce penne with a double N, it means something very different and not particularly great in Italian. So make sure you say penne. Penne. And finally, probably the most mispronounced dish in Italian, gnocchi. Gnocchi. Yes, surprisingly, CH in Italian is the cur sound, not
not a church sound, gnocchi. And now you know it all. Make sure to like this video if you've enjoyed it. Buon appetito. Bon appetit, enjoy your food and more videos for you here to learn more if I've missed any dish that from Italian that you'd like to know more about, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.